Yo, what up dudes, dudettes, everybody? Uh, cycle 7 reflection. And cycle 7 ended up being a total failure. <laughs> in many uh, in many ways. Um, what, what happened, I guess it's a combination of things, um, is that I, um, one, this hip, I have an old soccer injury where, I don't know, I was in high school and I fell into the splits and something here probably tore and it was real bad. You know, I had a limp and everything for a long time, but it eventually healed-ish, but it's always been a little weird. And right at the begin of, beginning of uh, this cycle seven, I, uh, I like overstretched it. I did something and like tore it again. Like it's bad, like I can't run right now. But when it happened, I just kept running like, oh, it'll get better, it'll get better. It never got better. Then when I stopped running, uh, it's almost like it got worse. I mean, like the pain was worse and everything. But then I was like, oh, I'll just wait you know, one month, two months, <laughs> I, I thought it would take a couple weeks, never got better, still isn't better, and that, like, really bummed me out and threw me off, because I, I ended up just kind of waiting for it to get better, never got better, and then I just, like, I fell into, uh, uh, a, like, not a deep depression, but, a, like, in a kind of a dis depressed state, but then it was uh, like a strange combination of that and, you know, I had my manic episode over the summer and I don't think I had fully mentally recovered from that manic episode. Like those take a, like a lot out of you, you know, then I, I never went to the hospital this time, but, you know, as I came back down, then, you know, I, I, you kind of put mental blinders on what happened. And I think when I stopped running, like I was thinking about that anyway, like it just, it all wasn't, wasn't good. No, no good stuff. Um, and the, 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 going back to the injury, like that just really messed me up. This is the first injury I've had, you know, I've never broken an arm or anything, uh, where I was just like out of it and couldn't do anything. And in the, in the course, uh, you, you can go over to my Instagram. I, I posted my, uh, my before photos, but I ended up gaining about 35 pounds from my lowest and my lowest was really low like I was down to like 180 something and now I'm like closer to 220 something for you guys uh with kilograms I was down to 83 kilos and then up to uh, about 99 I'm a little under 99 now so gained weight like I ended up just like watching tv didn't stop studying Chinese, stopped writing, didn't look for work. I was just fucking, I played a lot of video games. Like I should, I should, I could post, uh, I could post short reviews of all the games I, uh, I played and beat, but I, like, I went through a lot of, uh, video games. So that was, that was fun. <laughs> like I'll keep playing, uh, games. Um, what else do I want to add, uh, to the, this past reflection? So I guess, uh, uh well, like, something, like, I didn't mention this yet, but what hit me is like, oh, God damn it! I'm an old man now. If I can get injured and it, like, it doesn't just get better anymore, you know, like, yeah, I was just kind of bummed out about that. Um, it's strange, because I'm not going to add it to this video, but shortly after this, I'll make a video about what my plan for Cycle 8 is. Oh, uh, what else do I want to add about that? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll add this. I didn't make any notes or anything. So I like fell off of everything, just wasn't doing anything, just playing video games. Oh, I totally stopped. Like I noticed I rewatched my planning video where I said I might post a video a week, but yeah, that didn't happen. And I totally fell off of uh, social media. Like I didn't, I didn't like make a cognizant decision to quit. I just stopped and I was just off of everything. Um, and, uh, oh, I guess something I want to say, which is cool about these 108 day cycles and you or a person could do it with any amount of time. Like, uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll list a quick positive about doing this 108 day thing. Like my 
the idea for this kind of originated from, it was a combination of uh, something I read about, you know, doing things 90 days at a time, and kind of that idea, like, I'm sure you've all felt this, even if you don't do it anymore, but like, uh, or a lot of you, like, where you, like, make New Year's resolutions, and you're pumped, and, like, you do it for a while, and then you fall off, and then there's no really other time throughout the year where you have that same kind of, like, uh, New Year's energy. So the idea with the 108 is to create kind of that New Year's energy uh, uh, three times a year instead of just once a year. And then it being shorter than a year, if you, like this last one for me, if you just totally fall off and, <laughs> and it's a fuck up or whatever, uh, like you're, you're not waiting a whole year to start or you're not looking, like there's a time coming which is today may 1st when you uh get get popping again and what was interesting this is the second time i've experienced this is that you know i totally fell off of that this last 108 um when it was over i was just like Bleh. like i didn't do any like I, I didn't think usually i'm like reflecting or journaling or something i didn't journal at all this last 108 either I got a little bruce lee sticker on on there um but but where was I going? Like yeah, I didn't I didn't journal, I didn't do any reflection, da da da. But I knew, you know, May first was coming, and uh, oh, I got a little message from someone. I knew May first was coming, and then just three or four, maybe in this last week, um, I decided okay, now I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do next cycle. Not everything, but I like decided like man, I can't run. I should I should swim. That'll probably be really good for my hip. So I, you know, last week I went for a test swim and actually felt really good on my hip or whatever. That was cool. So I did that on like Thursday or something. Today's Saturday. Thursday or Wednesday. Ah, oh, Wednesday. No, Thursday. I don't know. Wednesday, Thursday, whatever. Uh, and then I like started thinking about, oh, what are the, some of the other things I'm going to do? Then I set up my habit app and ba ba ba. And, you know, come today, you, oh, well, I, uh, here, if you're at the end of the video, um, like my room, you can see what my room looked like. That was a good reflection of what was going on internally. So I'll, I'll post in the description the before and after of my room. And it was like, it was terrible. And now it's, now it's cleaned up. I just shot the after video right now. And, um, yeah, that all happened, like, like, when the 108 was open out, over, I was just like, ah, it's like, I ain't doing shit, whatever. Uh, but then just, like, like five days before today, May 1st, I just, like, got some energy. You know, went swimming, tested that out, cleaned my room, uh, uh, made, made a plan for the next uh, 108 days, which I'll post that video. I'm not on day one, I'll post it tomorrow. Um, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. So like that energy whoop 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 hit me and now I'm now I'm going again. So that's it. The last 108 was not dope. <laughs> Played a lot of video games, but other than that, didn't do a whole lot. Uh and this next 108, it's funny I mentioned it in the uh planning video that um I think it was in the planning video like uh last time i was like gonna look for a job uh but this time it's funny like i that i worked on a production a um uh, you can look it up maybe i'll talk about it a little bit more it's called the international ingrams uh i-n-g-r-a-m-s was the uh reality show i worked on last year and they're starting season two like this month so like, I got work for that. And then the other thing, and I think this warrants a separate video, uh, just to talk about it, it's interesting. Like, I haven't, I, I actually think I'll make some videos <laughs> this 108, like, just about whatever. Uh, but one thing that's pretty interesting, you know, if you live in the proper region, and I totally do, Taiwan is, like, in demand right now. Um, I did, I did one of these last year and I did one during this 108 where, you know, it's called OBC onboard courier, where you're basically paid to pick up something in one country, 
and drop it off in another country and it pays like it's crazy like 2500 us for it, like two three days of work um i i'm just gonna fucking this is gonna be a long ass video now because i just it just hit me <laughs> some other things hit me but i think it'd be worthwhile to make a video about that just to talk about that because it's an interesting job that exists out there and the guy who introduced it to me said that he knew uh, people who are doing these trips, you know, two times a month sometimes. So you just make five grand in a month. And the work is really only like two days, uh, you know. So, for example, for me, I uh, go to the Taiwan warehouse airport. I get some boxes, me and a couple like customs guy, go to the airport, take it through customs, check it in, get on the plane, fly. Uh, I dropped off in Chicago, Chicago. Another guy picks it up, whatever. It's an interesting, you know, thing. Like, uh, so I'll talk about that a little bit. But then some stuff, like it just hit me, some stuff that happened this 108. I should have, uh, uh, you know, taken notes maybe. But my, um, when I did this courier job, this is just last, last month I did this, I think last month, two months ago. Uh, I was at the airport in Taipei getting ready to go to Chicago and I get a message from my ma that my grandma is has fell and is in the hospital and ma doesn't think she's gonna live very long you know much longer and I'm like oh shit should I should I I'm gonna be in Chicago like tomorrow should I should I come she's like yeah so right there in the airport I buy a ticket to Minneapolis hop hop over to Minneapolis from Chicago because my brother was already planning on driving down that same morning that I was landing in Chicago. I landed in Chicago early, like like 6 or something. Got on an 8 a.m. flight from Chicago to Minneapolis. So he picks me up from the airport, and then we go down. I get to see my grandma. She's 100. Uh, she's in the hospital. She's totally... She's This whole time, like, she's always been fully aware, you know. Like, she ended up singing some songs, and I, you know, I got to say hi and bye and everything. And she was in the hospital, and then she got moved to the nursing home, like, a couple days after I left. And then from the nursing home, like, two days later, two, three days later, she passed away. Which uh, was crazy to me, because I was already, <clears throat> especially with the pandemic, I had assumed I was not going to see my grandmother again. So I was already, like, I had already let go of that. But boom, I got to see her. Um... And that was, that was wild. And then she's a hundred, man. She was like, and I, I got to live with her like the four years before I came here, I was living with my grandma. Uh, but yeah, that was crazy. Got to, dude, that was so crazy. And then I got to hang out with my brother for like uh, a week. That's one of the interesting things about this onboard uh, courier job is a lot of times. So they, your work is basically, you know, here, the airport here. The airport there, you drop it off with another guy, boom, you're done. And they'll book you a flight like the next day to come right back to whatever your home city is. But you can also just be like, hey, I'm going to hang out here for a week. So I spent a week in the U.S. hanging out with my brother. I didn't think I'd see him for another, you know, year or two or whatever. So that was really cool. And, uh, um, and what I'm about to say now also <laughs> warrants another video, which I will probably make. But he took me, it's Minneapolis, right? Like on Sunday, the Sunday I, we went to, one one Sunday we went to, uh, they call it George Floyd Square. So the area where George Floyd, I, I just need to make another video, but whatever. The area where George Floyd um, was uh, murdered is like, it's blocked off. It's at an intersection. This intersection has this big statue. I took a short video, so I'll show you that later. It had this big statue where he, like, was murdered, is, you know, covered with flowers and stuff. There was a little, I'll, I'll save that for another video, whatever. Uh, so that's my, that's my reflection for uh, this 108. Didn't go very well, but the whole 108 system uh, has rebooted me, and I'm coming into this uh, next one with good energy feeling good. I'll talk about what I'm doing this next 108. But the crazy thing about this 108 thing too is that uh, throughout the 108 days, 
um, I have a small uh, group on Facebook where, uh, you know, some people check in, five to ten people, some daily, some weekly, whatever. Some just like to be in the group to, like, feel the energy of, of other people, you know, doing it. But, like, even though I fell off, and I fell off early, like, all these other people checked in every day, every day, every day. Uh, so, that was cool. Um, yeah, if you, uh, if you, if you, if there's, like, one of you that want to, would like to join that group, just hit me up on uh, Facebook. I guess you could hit me up on IG, but the group's on Facebook. Hit me up, or you can hit me up in the comments here. Whatever. All right, guys. Love you. I'll give you my plan tomorrow. You can check out my messy room and my clean room below. Peace.